Kamera ya gitu. If you have the same problem like me, you fall over your pants, you trip over your trousers, however you want to say it, or you simply have too much material dangling in between your legs, then it's perfect that you clicked on this tutorial. Because today we're going to shorten these a little bit. The legs are going to stay as long, I just want to cut out a piece in the middle. And we can do this together now. So all you need is your scissors. Either you take normal scissors or you take a cutter roller or you take zigzag scissors and you don't have to seam it at the end. You need at least one pin. I take only one because I'm lazy, but you could use more. I will tell you how. I will use a cutting board and I will use chalk to mark where I have to cut. Grab all your things and then we start. The first thing you have to do is you have to take off your pants, turn them around, put them back on. So that it looks like this. And now you can see the inside seams are on the outside because I will put a pin in here and this needs to be inside out because I want to draw like on the inside of course, not on the outside and then cut it and then sew it on the inside so I already prepared the material to be the right way around. Take your pin, here's my pin. You have to decide how high you want it to be. Now be careful that you get the the material from the back as well so I kind of go behind my leg, grab both the, the back and the front um, and then wherever high you want it to be there you put in your pin. I will now take it off and now we're gonna make it a little bit more exact to determine where I have to cut to know where I will sew. I'm gonna go and change my pants. Sweetheart, I'm trying to do YouTube. Here we have the pants with the one pin. And for me this one pin is a little bit clustered. But that doesn't matter. I mean this material is not the thinnest. It's actually very beautiful. What I do is I take my fingers, I put it where the needle is on the back, I turn it around, I hold it, I let the material fall, maybe secure it a little bit by holding it a little bit, and then you have only the back and the front as one layer, and I put the needle back in. So now let's first of all compare. The front works perfect. The back doesn't. Why? Very simple. Because I pushed the material to the front through my legs, so there is more material at the back. Now, the question is, do you want to have a little bit more at the back or not? I think this is a little bit too much. Again, hold with your finger. From underneath, I take out the needle. And now this is all left over, so if I lift the, the one that's on top right now, which is the back material, and push it. Girl! So now I can put the pin back in. But I still have. What are we doing? Any other pants? Now I still have, as you can see, a little bit more in the back, which I think is, okay, you don't have to have that because there's a lot of material anyway, but I actually like that idea. You just have to be careful when cutting that everything is at the right position. So the next step is you have to fold it into half. As you would normally fold pants. Okay. 
And as I said, this length, this is going to stay. I only want to cut the part that's in between the legs. You can now either make it very complicated and try to cut each layer separately. You could do that, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. So if you want to do the lazy part, let's do the lazy part. <laughs> I will not use the zigzag scissors, but if you use those, you could ditch the zigzagging at the end. But here I see it's actually very nicely done. It is cut with the zigzag scissors, it is zigzagged, and then one more or less straight line, like a little bit of a very thin or small, narrow zigzag. So I'm gonna use my overlock. This is how you can do it if you do not own an overlock machine, which you don't have to have to sew nice stuff, honestly. I just happened to stumble across one on eBay in Germany for a very nice price and I tried it out and it worked so well. I needed to buy it. I'm so happy. So now what I do is I go into here, put my fingers where the needle is and push everything that has to go up, up and pull everything that has to go down, down and arrange those pants, everything on top of each other. Now look for any big folds, you want to avoid those. Yeah. If you want to be even more precise, you can iron it. Now I took out the needle, but I see the hole, so I know it's here. So I now go through all four layers. Are you more picky or are you less picky? If you're more picky, grab something to make a nice straight line. I'm not that picky. I'm not going to use any more of those. If you want to pin down to the feet, you can do that. It helps to stabilize the material when you cut. But I'm not going to do that, as I said. I'm lazy. Sometimes. And I will start super simple from these I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the way they are, that's important. So I'm gonna start two centimeters more or less, like let's say two fingers above, and I just go for a straight line. And draw a straight line. See there, I have a curve. That's why you should use something like that. There you go. A straight line up to the pin. This is going to be now the rest of the length that's going to be in between your legs. I was thinking whether I want to cut this with scissors or whether I want to roll this. And I'll start to try to roll it, but I might switch to scissors. So because it's four layers and I'm going to do them all at once. But honestly, it worked out quite nice. The fun part is if you ever want to put it back, you can just sew it back on. Outside on outside. So you can now either... <laughs> Leave it like this, and then you have a nice, interesting skirt. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, you actually could, but I want to show you how to close it. So, it's so simple. You just leave it inside out, and you just start either with your normal machine or your overlock. I don't really have a system. If I would do it with a normal machine, I couldn't even tell you if I would zigzag it first or go with the straight seam. Straight would be easier, I think. And then zigzag it to seam it. What do you say? We use the overlock, right? Now you can either do the very nice version and pin the entire thing, 
Or you can do it like me. Know that the cutting is okay. And just hold the seams on top of each other while you're sewing. Like I know people who do not pin their stuff and they just sew and it's super good. It's actually better than what I do. <laughs> so it's all about practice, you know. So I'm just gonna overlock one round and that's it. Let's grab the sewing machine. I, by the way, choose gray because the gray simply is already on the machine. Choose the color you need for your pants and I think gray is light enough that you won't see it through this corner here. Whether you have it pinned or not, honestly, prepare the material that is ready to just flow through the machine and let the machine transport the material. That's all I want to say to you. I simply make a knot into the end of the seam and cut it. You could pull it through or make knots with the single threads or something. I find the one is not the easiest. There you go! I mean, nobody will know that I did that myself. Everybody will think, yeah, that's the pants. I, I like it. I like it better than before. I, I didn't think it would turn out that great, but ta-da, I love it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. It was cool. Just comment what you did, what you shortened, if it worked, how you did it. I'd love to hear from you. Take care, have a good time, and I see you super soon. Bye bye. I will put a pin in here. Yeah, there's the camera. <laughs> to the pants, of course. Like, is this 20 centimeters? So.